Today's Daily Bread Bible Study is full of different psalms here for day 173, Psalms 95 through 103. So uh, what a big collection here, but let's get into it. So Psalm 95, I selected verse 6 saying, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. And in verse 8, Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when the ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. This is a reminder of you know the waters of Meribah and Massa. This is quarreling, the grumbling at the water at the rock, and somehow this is connected with uh, God being displeased with Moses as well, too. So uh, anyways, the stubbornness of the people there, um, instead of that, let us worship God and bow down. So Psalm 96, verse 10, it says, Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. So I hope for this to be. In Psalm 97, verse 2, it says, Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his thrones, which again makes me think of God's presence in the natural world and fires and smoke and lightning and mountains and everything else that um, you know we could try and worship. These things are in, you know just fall short of the actual glory of God. So uh, hopefully we can experience God's righteousness and justice through the awe of creation. In Psalm 98 uh, verse 4 it says, make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth, break forth into joyous songs and praise, sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. So Sing out loud for God. In Psalm 99, I selected verse 4. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. So very good for you, God. Uh, you do all of these things. In Psalm 100, a, a fitting uh, psalm here is because it is a psalm of thanksgiving. And it's a short verse for the 100th Psalm. It's only five verses long. And a worship psalm inviting people to experience the joyful presence of God. In Psalm 100, it, verse 3, it says, Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Uh, continuing in all these worship liturgy pieces, we have Psalm 101, a psalm of David which says in verse 4, Perverseness of heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil, says God. This psalmist is focused on a lot of actions to build a trustworthy community. And I'm not really a fan of the destroy all the wicked in the land part, but ultimately I do seek to hope that there will be, um, that I will know nothing of evil. In Psalm 102, it's a prayer of one who is afflicted when faint and pleading before God. Um, in verse 9, it says, For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink because of your indignation and anger, for you have lifted me up and thrown me aside. So I wonder if this is something related to the time of the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonians. Um, this is definitely, again, that theme of fear feeling the experience of the absence of God. So when God feels absent, things feel dire and sad. Our last psalm for today is Psalm 103. I selected a few verses, starting in verse 2, saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like eagles. And as far as, the, far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. So, 
yes, we, uh, we get our sins removed um, as Christians and as well as people of God. And especially for us as Christians, we proclaim that Jesus is the one who does that, who separates us from the sin. And these are things to give thanks for God and all the benefits that come with being connected with God. So hopefully uh, you find this inspiring and helpful. Uh, I know I've enjoyed it and I look forward to continuing on in more Psalms coming up next time.